Hello and welcome to Weird Ass History with Becca. I know that it's been a while. I took a little bit of a break because I started going to school again and I've had a job change and I just needed to get myself settled again before I started doing these. Um, but I will be trying to make them weekly again. Um, so thanks for being patient. Sorry it took so long. It's been wild. Um, <clears throat> today's topic is Cthulhuin. Um, who was a great, great granddaughter of Genghis Khan. Her fa uh, she was born in 1260, and her father was Kedu Khan, and her father's cousin was uh, Kublai Khan, which is a semi-familiar name. And Kublai Khan founded the Wan Yuan Dynasty. Wan Dynasty. Um, Catulin was a feared fighter uh, who fought alongside her father against Kublai to protect the nomadic Mongol lifestyle. She was raised with 14 brothers. She excelled at horseback riding, archery, and wrestling. And wrestling was probably the source of her reputation because she was so good at it. She refused to marry unless the prospective husband could beat her in a wrestling match. It wasn't always just wrestling. Sometimes she would wrestle them and then challenge them to a horse race, but she basically always won. Um, they had to wager horses for the opportunity to fight her. And over the course of this entire situation, she amassed around 10,000 horses. Each wager had to be 10 to 100 horses. Uh, it depends on the records that you look for and probably the person that was putting up the wager. Um, Marco Polo described Catullin as a superb warrior, one who could ride into enemy ranks and snatch a captive as easily as a hawk snatches a chicken. Um, Kaidu, her father, wanted Catullin to be his successor, but her brothers refused to let it happen. And she died in 1306, only five years after her father, likely in battle. Um, according to tradition and stories that were passed down, uh, no man or woman ever beat her in free wrestling and um battles were hand to hand um she eventually got married to someone that she never even battled um but there are conflicting sources that say different people um one is a persian khan or king um that rumor was started by historian rashid al-din um and the name of the king was gazan there are also reports that she might have married a handsome man from the Chloris clan who was loyal to her father, or possibly a man named Abdakul, who was sent by Kublai to kill her father. Um, that story is likely false, but they believe that there's a possibility that Kublai sent him to kill her father. He was then caught and imprisoned. His mother rallied and tried to say that she would be hanged instead of him and um her son Abdakul Ab said no I'm not gonna let that happen I will die a Mongol's death um according to records and stories Kaidu said uh okay that's cool uh you're honorable you're free and then Catulin fell in love with him. But that is probably a lie. It's probably just made up stories. Um, they're not sure. And um, what is general, generally um, believed is that she may have finally changed her mind due to um, enemy rumors that she had an incestuous relationship with her father. So she may have finally decided to marry so that people would stop saying that she was a uh, reverse Oedipus. Um, but yeah, there's not a lot about her other than that, just that she took a really long time to get married and she made it really difficult for people to try and offer themselves to her. It wasn't a very long video, but it's, it's done now. Um, that was Catulin. The next video will be about Palisade, Nevada. Um, probably won't be very long, but it'll be there anyway. Have a good night. Like, subscribe, comment, whatever you want to do. Tell me what you want to learn about, something else that you want to learn about, and I'll look it up, and I'll add it to my list. Wink, wink.